So first off, hang on. I'm gonna first start off with there are two new things added, like two major things that are making an appearance for the first time. The standard 1938 tube stock in the Glasgow Cathcart Circle, which I think is like a Scottish route. Anyways, um, um, I'm gonna only go over major things, like major bug fixes and major good things. So for our next arrival, we got a fix for the red signals encountered in Scenario Planner for NTP, which is other lies known as the Northern Trans Pennine route. It also increased start and end points for the scenario planner on NTP. Of course we got the class 465 EMU for Southeastern high speed. Fixed an issue with third rail shoes clipping through the track on the 395. Fixed an issue that would result in hearing cab rattle in a passing train. Fix NT for NTP, another bug fixed with the scenario planner. Fixed an issue with that would result in incorrect or blocked paths. Fixed an issue with the map buttons on in Scenario Designer. Fixed an issue that would result in duplicated entries in the Scenario Planner. Added pin 18 of the US standard 27 pin jumper cables to the simulation model. Change the alerter button length for a rail driver. Rail driver menu now shows correct control. Updated some billboards on southeastern high speed. Updated the character selection so you're now wearing the right outfit for the route. And then they improved the BR class 395 tutorial in French and German. Bigger loo line speed limits not trigger from the front of the train, so your whole train doesn't have to go past the sign. Reinsta they reinstated London landmarks for council on the Bigger loo line. For the Long Island Railroad, they fixed tools and scenery. Well, that's for upcoming. So we're on upcoming now, actually. Creating a scenario with the M7 can result in the M3 in it, like as your train. You're not able to get a gold reward for the change at Jamaica scenario, so they're fixing that. M7 loses power when two f two cars leave third rail. Well, from two. Correctly eliminated track if player selects track two at Hunt Hunter's Point Avenue. Horn decrease horn volume on M7 decreases when cab window is open. Looping is observed in the auto of the M7. Running sounds of the M7 wrongly adjusted volume at a 
above 22 miles per hour. There are no tra track point sounds. M3 services do not display taillights in timetable mode. Tractive effort gauge and brake power gauge max at a 50% power or 50% brake. Adding, adding platform departure boards to each coastway and rapid transit. Platform climb up functionality added to all stations. Remember, we're still in the upcoming Belmont Lighting Improvement. Improve passenger pathing at Hempstead. This is basically all the Long Island Railroad stuff. Improving. <coughs> improve rail link textures at Belmont. Improving. So. This is for all the routes, I think. Improving the traffic spawn locations. Along with passenger spawn locations. I know in rapid transit, passengers go just go. Like, walk over the crossing somewhere. Improved passenger standing locations within the passenger cars. Improved cam ex outside cam on Xbox. So we got two new things, well, like two add-ons. The local add-on, Diesel Legends of the Great Western, which is the 70s pack. Um, you get the Class 52, Class 101, and the Class 08 all in classic PR blue livery along with Mark 1 and 2 coaches and this is for Great Western Express there is no HST yet and the, the route is not changed either just new logos and those are the only ones so far that might add more and you got your route add on the Clinchfield Railroad, Elkhorn to Dante, the F7, the Clinchfield Railroad F7 A and B, and the SD40. So now we're into the end production stuff. Memory use optimization. You got steam trains coming, track IR support. Add platform departure boards to all preserved collection. Adding rail driver support to preserved collection. Adding safety system indicators to the HUD. Full length of platform climb up function for the preserved collection. The redesigner compatibility for preserved collection. Long Island Railroad Preserved. Preservation crew focus. Upgrading M3 audio. Upgrading M7 audio. And then you got your user guides and manuals. So now we're on to major stuff here. We got the BR, the, the DVBR 101 for the half striker Reimer. Got the DBBR 187 developed by Skyhook Games for Ryan Rearlston. Got the BR Class 313 EMU for East Coastway. You got the standard 1938 tube stock developed by Rivet Games. The DBBR 420 EMU for Hopstrecker and Munchen and Augsburg developed by TSG. The DBBR 232 diesel locomotive for Rushignord, developed by TSG again. Along with the Vossel OG6 for Rhino Rostin, developed by TSG. 
you got the Erosa line with the RHB GE 4-4-2 developed by Rivet Games. You got the Hamburg to Lübeck route with the DBBR 112 and the Doppelstock wagon with the 182 MRCE but with MRCE livery. Got Cane Creek with the UP AC4400 and SD40 developed by Skyhook Games. And you got the Glass Glow Scart Cath Cart Circle. Still no um, stock for it yet. Like engine and stuff. Got and then I'm planning I got standard downloading signs size reduction. Means bizarre bond preservation yeah. preservation crew focus and then rapid transit preservation crew focus as well. Then a lot of things were removed from road maps. Sadly. <coughs> And then several times, but there is something big in here. Um, several timetable services are experiencing a game crash approximately two kilometers from coal. I've never really experienced that. There goes a six. Anyways, um, that's about it for this article. Um, I'm gonna hop on to Great Western Express now because they just released a 1970s new art news article for the, the 1970s pack. And yeah, um, see you there in a moment. Alright, so we are on Great Western Express now. Talk about in the local map, the well, the local past pa yeah, the locomotive package coming to Transmo 2. So let's get started. Merge yourself into the British diesel motive power of the 1970s. Experience a bygone era with Transmo 2 diesel legends of the Great Western. Providing a new gameplay experience to the existing Great Western Express Diesel Legends of the Great Western Ex Diesel Legends of the Great Western brings a brand new service mode, scenarios, and tutorials to the Great Western London to Paddington, London Paddington to Reading at all. Giving you the sense of this famous route from 50 years ago. Now, nothing's changed with this route. There's still modern stuff like this. Along with, uh, modern London Paddington and stuff like that. That actually kind of disappointed me, but I'm fine with it because I, it takes them a lot of hard work if they had to do all that. And, like, maybe at least Great Western Express again, but in the 1970s. All these telephone lines, all these um, container stuff would be here. Stuff like that. But, um, anyways. Diesel Legends of the Great Western offers an entirely new perspective of the Western region to the cabs of the East Year. This exciting new add on for the Great Western Express brings magnificent BR Class 52. DR Class 101 DMU and BR Class 101 and BR Class 08 into the region. Applying the striking British Railways liveries of the early 1970s to the, these iconic locomotives, to complete your consoles, the BR MK1 and BR MK2 coaches will be joining them. Also, resplendent in an era appropriate liberties. We are a class 52 Western. A true workhouse of a true work. A 
true powerhouse of this area. Its sleek design, substantial strength, and unique engine sound have made the BR Class 52 Western favorite amongst rail fans. Desperate to witness each of the individually named locomotives, you should you wish to seek out them each of these yourself. Should you wish to seek out each of these unique locomotives yourself, all 72 will be included in the Diesel Legends of the Great Western Adam. Proudly painted in British Railways blue livery. BR 101D and As a busy commuter hub, the region isn't just home to powerful express trains, regular Local suburban services print to the entire route. To represent this more modest pace of travel across West London and into the home country, into the home counties, we have also included the BR Class 101 DMU and its BR Blue Gray livery. This enduring DMU has featured across the entire BR network and when several units were sent to the Western region in 1967. It became a common site on various services between London and Reading. You can express, expect numerous services across the entire route rest, representing, representing services terminating at Reading and London Paddington and those bound for further reaching destination across the home counties in the Midlands. BR Class OH Filling out the complement of 1970s iconic diesel locomotives is the BR Class OH in blue livery. In BR Blue livery. This venerable shunter has worked the length and the breed and breadth of the UK on all kinds of freight and shunting work. Almost a thousand of these best or saddle little shunters have been produced and incredibly almost a hundred of them are still in service across the UK. You will enjoy various shunting services and yards situated across the routes such as Old Oak Common. Timetables. Diesel Legends utilizes the brand new multiple timetable system featured to create a second completely new timetable experience at Great Western, featuring trains from the ER Blue period. In addition to driving up and down the mainland between Paddington and Reading in a Class 101 DMU, or running express services using the Class 52 Western, we also ex be able to experience how these older locomotives haul trains change directions at Paddington by using locomotive changes and runs in and out of old of common depot. It's a route we all know and love, but it's a different time with different operations and different trains. The bar and timetable remain fully accessible by simply returning to the menu. Multiple timetable selection also works with it's four on foot, so you'll be able to pick beer blue or modern timetables before you arrive in the world and immerse yourself in your chosen experience. Diesel Legends of the Great Western is coming soon to Transom World 2. Look out for more information, screenshots, and videos in the coming weeks on at Transom World on Twitter and Facebook. For more screenshots and videos of the new route, you can look forward to a preview on Ramfin TV and in our next article, we will be look we will look at what this pack brings to the scenario planner and livery design. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you again next time. Right, come back to another video and. Today we are reading the 
your VR class D95 um, article. So let's get started. So stick to the busy timetable and ensure the numerous commuters on board arrive at the destination on time. The BR class 465 EMU arrives on 4th March, March 4th for Train to World 2. So we thought we'd give you a closer look at what's to come. A common sight amongst passengers traveling in the southeast and London for almost 30 years, the VR class 465 EMU networker has been a staple part of the region's rolling stock since the early 90s. Sporting its latest southeastern livery, this sleek four car unit will be ready for you to use on southeastern high speed and other routes with Scenario Planner very soon. There are numerous there are numerous variants of the BR class 465 EMU having been constructed in two different factories, two similar but not identical designs. Each features very sub subtle differences in both the interior internal and external details. This variant is the VR class 465-9 EMU. This variant is the VR class 465 and is more commonly referred to as a networker. Having undergone a, main, a major refurbishment at Doncaster Works in the mid-2000s, the unit's interior received so much needed improvements. New flooring, paneling, and lighting were installed, along with an additional first-class seating area at the front and rear of each unit. This was then finished off with the additional with the addition of gray and blue seating fabric to give them matching internal livery to that of the PR Class 365 EMU. Utilizing the 650 VDC third rail power, this is that is commonplace across the southeast of England. The BR class 465 EMU is capable of reaching speeds of 75 miles per hour or to 120 kilometers per hour. Although this is a fairly conserva conservative speed compared to other units of a similar size and age, it is more than sufficient for the routes it works. The need for regular stopping is more important due to the proximity of stations in the region. This renders a higher speed unnecessary. It is also the fastest accelerating DC unit in the UK, so it is by no means slow when traveling between stations. I think that's about it for this news article. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. In a second. for the next station before we end the video. It's very dark here. I found a bug. Like 
it's still going to have it here. It's 72 stuff. So yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can get notified of future videos, stuff like that, and yeah, comment for future suggestions, see this 72 stock station and then we'll end the video.